Hey guys, iOS 13 is due out in September, but before that hits, you can download one of the features right now, and that is called Siri Shortcuts. And I actually haven't used it because I wanted to try it out on camera with you guys. So Siri Shortcuts is basically you can assign commands or shortcuts to Siri. It's designed by Apple and it's going to be built into iOS 13, but right now you can download it on the App Store. Oh, right now it's called Shortcuts. I think it was called Siri Shortcuts before, but I could be wrong. Let's check it out. So one of the things that you can do is take the shortest path. So combine multiple steps of a shortcut to automate what you do or shortcuts widget or just ask Siri. Let's see. So create shortcut. Add actions from the bottom to build your shortcut. I really am interested in doing Spotify because I heard that it works with Spotify, but I'm not sure. It says no suggestions. So then there's gallery and gallery seems to have very interesting ones. Spotify playlists. Let me Google it. Okay, so there is one and that one is like, I don't know, it was just a link online. I'll link it in the description to see. And it says Spotify Siri. This shortcut works with the following apps and services, speech recognition, microphone, and Safari. So I'm gonna say show actions. Let's do it. Okay, so get shortcut. Add it to library. So library Spotify Siri. Play Post Malone. No. Wait, what else can it do? Alright, let me try a specific song. Play Happier by Marshmallow. Okay, so that was not the right one. So let's see if it does two out of three. Let's look at the top charts. Charts. US. Okay, so we'll try the top three. Goodbye, Senorita, and Panini. Play Goodbyes by Post Malone. Okay, so it's working right there. And then let's try the second one. I think it was Senorita by Sean Mendez. Play Senorita by Sean Mendez. See, that one didn't work. And I don't know why, because it looks like it's loading and then it just stops. And then let's try, let's try Panini. Play Panini. I forgot what it's my oh, shoot, all right. All right, not that, all right, ready? Play Panini by Little Nax X. <laughs> Got that, even though I didn't even know what I was saying. All right, so that one worked, and I don't know why Senorita didn't work, and it could be because Sean Mendez is with Camila Cabello on that, so let's try that. Play Senorita by Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. Oh, okay, so you have to say both artists. And it is like, someone designed this just so it would work. It is like a string of code, basically. So you have to be very specific with what you say. Otherwise, you don't know what the what you're going to end up with. But it is a good alternative because Siri does not work with Spotify. Let's see what she says when we ask her. Hey, Siri. Play Post Malone on Spotify. I can't play from Spotify. So you heard it from the mouth of the beast herself. So I feel like... If you have this, and then you can, I think you can use it with Siri, so, hey, Spotify Siri. How would I command this? Let's see. So then this is, so it's under dictate text. Let's see, can we add it with Siri? I don't think so. Oh, add to Siri, haha. -ha. Okay, we're going to change the name of it to play on Spotify. Okay. 
play on Spotify. Okay, now let's try it. Hey, play on Spotify. Running your shortcut. Play Senorita by Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello. Ah, okay, people, we got that done. And Siri shortcuts can be used for a number of things, but that was my main concern, and you can do a lot with Apple Music, but personally I'm on Spotify more than Apple Music, so this is great. Let's see what else you can do. Create shortcut, a lot of calendar stuff, contact stuff, health, location, music. Like, basically you can do anything, but the one that... I think the most important one was play on Spotify, because now I can just... Play on Spotify, the top charts. No, okay. So you have to, you do have to say it. You have to say the command first. All right, so that was it. We got Siri to play Spotify. And I might experiment with some other Siri shortcuts, but I'm gonna add them in separately because I think that this within itself is a video. So if you haven't already checked out the Shortcuts app, it will be on iOS 13 in the fall, or you can download it right now and have it play Spotify, play whatever artist or song you want. Just be make sure you're specific with the command, and it should work. So yeah, thanks for watching.